Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X-2. Alright. Let's keep going deeper. Number 11. So yeah. You're gonna definitely notice as you uh, teleport out of the dungeon and back in that you may not end up on the same uh, uh, layout as when you left. So. Still no Elder Drake. Quit right. moving. <laughs> Quit squirming. I'm gonna see if I can speed up the battles a bit by, uh, Just pull an X. Time barriers, however, I don't think there's much we can do about that. <laughs> nice crit. <clears throat> yeah, I've definitely noticed that, uh, you probably noticed as well by now that whenever the Tonberry is in his m chef's knife mode, uh, can't chain him for some reason, but I guess it's just one of those situations where it just bugs out the, the chain, so, yeah. As I'm sure we've seen at various points throughout the LP. Ah, well, we're still managing, which is fine. Fourteen. Still no Elder Drake. Oh, to be fair... I was originally expecting it to uh, not be this early, so it just would have been nice to get one in the, the first video. But I guess we'll just get to it when we get to it. Pardon me. Right. Hey, how's it going? That's a Sean talk, isn't it? Yeah. So, how's it going? I haven't seen you for a while. at the end there. I guess not. Number 15. Yeah. That... I don't know. Definitely seems to be a, bug, a bit buggy in certain situations. Unless there's a legitimate reason for sometimes the chaining not working. 
And again, this is the PlayStation 2 hardware we're talking about, so... As in amazing as a console as it, it was, and still is, I guess, uh, for its time, it still has limitations, you know. Number 16. Okay, that one was definitely, uh, for sure we know why it didn't connect as well. He got stabbed. <laughs> and broke up the chain. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Yeah, the sugar leader's down here as well. <laughs> How many times have we gotten this floor so far? This is like the fourth time. <laughs> this specific floor. <laughs> hey, and there's the Oversold Tonberry. Uh, so the Oversold Tonberry is considerably different than its regular form. Uh, it has 39,996 HP, so quadruple the HP, so almost 40,000. Zero MP, you can steal the Turbo Weather from it. Uh, same affinities, uh, however it is, it does gain immunity to Berserk, so now it's immune to everything except for Eject. Uh, and yeah, everything else is pretty much the same. Except that instead of just its regular uh, physical attack, now it can put you to sleep, it can poison you, and it can use fire fire magic. So, yeah. But anyways, let's just uh, do our thing here. If it weren't immune to it, I'd be using the... Uh, the quartet, uh, keep forgetting what it's called. Pain's ability. <laughs> the one that inflicts full break. <laughs> quartet. Knife, okay. Everything's a knife over here. Man, there's one. And down it goes. <coughs> so yeah, to get an oversold tonberry, you have to kill 16 of them, so... <laughs> Give you an idea of how many we've killed down here so far. Well, you could probably just say one for each floor we've been on, maybe. Number 18. Still no Elder Drake. Ooh, a new floor. I don't think we've seen this one yet. I got a good feeling about this one. Me too. You okay?
And we are at number 20. It looks like there's somebody up there. Cool. Let's go save it first. Alright, so I did change my setup slightly. All I did is put the uh, Champion Belt and Kaiser Knuckles and Riku and Pain there. So, yeah. Let's go. Who is this? Looks kind of familiar. Maester Kinok. He's unsent? Huh? Yeah, I guess he never did get sent. He just got his body, as I guess, his essence absorbed two years ago. So, all right, here we go. We've got Arania has 18,280 HP with 178 MP. Can steal the Turbo Weather or Kinesis badge accessory from it. It is immune to gravity, so unlike its uh, Bo unlike its Boris uh, brethren, so to speak, uh, yeah, no weakness. Uh, it is susceptible to eject. It's immune to everything else, including uh, the full breaks and the uh, any uh, debuffs as well. Accuracy, evasion, luck, luck as well. Uh, regular form, it can poison you, so heads up there. Oversold, it has 33,394 HP with 178 MP. You can steal two Turbo Weathers or two Kinesis badges from it. And, uh, yeah, nothing else has changed with the affinities and susceptibilities. However, it loses the ability to poison you. However, it can inflict stop. It can damage your guild, and I believe it's to the tune of 10,000 gil per hit. So, Oversold can get expensive, so try to take it as quickly as possible. And it can uh, cast Elemental Magic as well. So, yeah, and also I do believe it, uh, Oversold, it has basically, the longer the fight goes on, the stronger it becomes. So, yeah, another reason you want to take it out as quickly as possible when it's oversold. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so let's do this. Ow. Hey, you got a chain anyway. Nice. She gets. <laughs> Phew. That went rather smoothly. Ooh, nice experience. And we get a stamina tonic out of it, too. Nice. The wandering unsent. You think there are more in here? Probably. Uh, I think we should go home now. Let's ease their pain. You're going? Mm-hmm. Uh, I knew it. Yeah, put the loot behind. Crimson's Fear 8. Who? 
I said your work's done. Well, we know what the argument was all about. About in literally shooting them in the back. Although, yeah. But that indeed is the last of the Crimson Spheres. Which means we might actually be able to open that door to the Den of Woe. Huh. <sighs> Well, uh, let's uh, hold off on that for a while. Ooh, I know that sound. Finally! Yeah, that's the uh, the Elder Draco saying he behaves like a dog, just jumps out and jumps back in. <laughs> all right, before we move here, I'm going to get my uh, party all set up, so let's uh, take care of that. All right, so yeah, I've just got the Shining Bracer on Yuna here. Crystal Bengal on, Bengal on Riku and Crystal Bengal on uh, Pain. There is the the differences. So, all right, let's do this. All right, as previously mentioned last episode, the Elder Drake has thirty eight thousand five hundred HP with one hundred thirty five MP. You can steal one to two Turbo Ethers from it. It is weak to all four elements: so fire, ice, thunder, and water, and it absorbs gravity attacks. Uh, for susceptibilities, it is susceptible to eject and all four breaks and any accuracy, vision, and luck debuffs as well. And, uh, yeah. Got a very strong physical attack, and that's probably the most dangerous attack that it's got. So, yeah. Mm, pardon me. They're the one that I'm most worried about. Mm, pardon me. Alright, so let's, uh... How do I want to do this? Yeah, I guess, yeah, just gonna have uh, Yuna doing the, uh, the Moogle Kyrja at all times. And then uh, Riku and Pain doing their things with the the buffed uh, damage they get from the uh, Tetra Master Grammy Grid. So let's do this. Oh yeah, I forgot that as well. It's got a not. It's got auto protect on as well. So even more reason to have the uh, Tetra Master on. We'll be doing elemental damage. And down it goes. Woohoo! We survived. And got a bigger potion out of that. Nice. Alright. Let's uh, switch back. Oh, almost forgot. There it is. Let's do a few more floors. Oh no. I'm going to, uh... I'm going to try and split up the uh, the attacks. Oh. Probably try to send Riku after the uh, the grounder one, the ground ones, the ones that are, seem to be a bit more slower on the, the attacks. So yeah, just because of how long it takes Riku to wind up. Yours, Yuna. Where are you going? All right, pain after the assassin B, Riku after the Barbada. And whoever after the, the Flan. There's one more floor variant we can run into the uh, Elder Drake with, and uh, yeah, it'd be nice if we could see that as well. Oh, 
wonder how close Riku is. Hey, Deva, how's it going? Looks like the fiends have stepped it up a notch since uh, before we fought Arania. These seem to have a bit of a, a chapter two feel to them, don't they? <laughs> if I do say so myself. Gemini. Bring it, punk. Yeah, I was briefly thought there maybe to use the uh, quartet knife, but I don't think it's got enough HP to really make a difference with it here, so yeah. It would have taken two rounds to defeat anyway. Ooh, is this the floor I'm thinking of? It is. All right, this is the one. Come, get Come on, guys. We're, we're trying to do something here. <laughs> uh, yeah, so take out the look of Phyla <laughs> because of its uh, deadliness. <laughs> its ability to do a lot of damage to us. All right, as you can see, there is a Drake right there. Uh, yeah, hang on a sec. Oh yeah, the Charm Bangle doesn't work. I'm gonna run from any battles, I'm gonna backtrack a bit. Yeah, going up here. This one I won't run into. The only reason I would've run from it is if uh, this wasn't a, a thing. I got a sand burp here. There is a way to bypass that Elder Drake. I'll show you how to do it, but I'm not going to. Because of ability all points. Right. <laughs> and experience. And all that fun stuff. So yeah, if you climb up here... Notice there's a, uh, a pedestal back there. If you climb up onto that pedestal there, uh, it will allow you to basically just uh, jump over some platforms that appear above the uh, Elder Drake and you can just completely bypass it. So, yeah, but 
I want to fight it. So we're going to. Well, I'm glad that we got the uh, the uh, Oversoul here. So you kind of don't want to fight the Over... How? Uh, we'll let you do that one. Do the honors. Life on you. HP. We're good to go. Alright. Alright. We're all set the way we were. Healed up with Riku. Let's do this. going to be using the uh, this to give ourselves a bit of an edge. <laughs> Forget about that. Oh. Man, that thing can move. Hey, and there's Pew Pew Platter. Awesome. So let's set Riku back on her, didn't To it. Awesome. Let's get everybody switched back. Alright, and we're ready to go again. Let's go. Oh, I forgot. Got to go here to get up. Alright, so how do we get out of here? Well, hey, Malboro. How's it going? Yeah, we uh, managed to take it out before it got bad breath off, so always a good day when that happens. <laughs> Number 25. Alright, sweet. Got this floor. Seal up. This one's a bit of a puzzle. A very simple puzzle, but puzzle nonetheless. Ooh, we got two other souls at the right. Let's do this. <laughs> Probably should have gone after the Lucafila first. Oh no! <laughs> Pressing all the wrong buttons. Okay, that's just empty. Fortunately, we've got a uh, teleporter right by us, so we can just replenish it. <laughs> Try that again. Tip number two. So you head up here. You step on this platform. Easy sandworm. Here, step on this platform. Here comes the hurt. Step on it. All right, and then over here is Mr. Tonberry.
And then step on this pedestal. And, wait, what did that all do? Well, if you head back out here. And get into another random encounter. Fun times for all. It's the most dodgy. And that's the hardest one for Riku to hit. <laughs> so we head back out here. Oh no, where'd the floor go? Oh yeah, that, that's the, uh, the exit. <laughs> and we are at cloister number 26. Alright, I feel like this is a good place to leave, uh, leave off, so let's head back here. Head back. All right, so another 15 floors under our belt. We got the last Crimson Sphere, the last of the 10 Crimson Spheres, which should mean we could potentially open up the, the door to the Den of Woe and see what's inside. Do we want to with a name like a Den of Woe? Well, I guess, uh, well, nothing ventured, nothing gained, I guess. <laughs> I guess. But, uh, yeah. And we also managed to get... Uh, um, run into a, a new boss and uh, went a little further so yeah let's see what happens if we go even further next time this is intrepid 83 signing off formerly known as Cyric 1983 if you've enjoyed the video as you please consider hitting the like button on your way out it's greatly appreciated to help support the series here and uh, yeah thank you so much for uh, showing your support and if you're looking for anything else to watch, why not head on over to my other channel, Intrepid83, to see if there's anything there that could potentially earn your subscription over there. And if it does, well, I'll see you over there. But if you dislike the video, by all means, feel free to leave a comment below, uh, giving any tips or suggestions you might have and how I can improve uh, to help your enjoyment of it. And, uh, well, I'll uh, take them into consideration and uh, possibly even implement them. All right. Thank you so much for your feedback as well. And also, feel free to hit the dislike button just to because that's why it's there, you know. <laughs> and uh, yeah, until next time, thank you for spending some time with me. Take care, be blessed, and have a good one.